Hi, welcome to Artist Academia. Today we'll be learning how to draw Zenitsu from the anime Demon Slayer. So to start, I'm going to draw the bottom of his face. So I'm gonna draw a line that's at a slight angle like that on this side, and then the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm gonna draw curve here and a curve here and this is a very gentle curve and then I'm going to draw another angle line here and here and then I'm going to draw a curve for his chin like that. Next I'm going to draw his mouth so I'm going to show him smiling so I'm going to draw a line straight across like that and then a curve on the bottom and then another line straight across for his teeth like that and then a little line right here for his chin and then for his nose I'm just gonna draw a little line like this it's got a slight curve and a little A little point and then a tiny little slash line like that that's it for his nose and next I'm gonna draw the bottom of his ears because you're not gonna see the top part because it's gonna be hidden by his hair so I'm just gonna come out so right around here where this line starts gonna come across straight draw a little line here a little line here and then I'm gonna draw angle line on each side like that and then a little loop in the middle and that's for the inside of his ear. Then I'm going to draw his eyes. So his eyes are going to start a little bit below where this is on either side of his nose and there's going to be a curve on the bottom and a curve on the top. So this is the curve on the bottom right here and here and I'm going to do a curve on the top on both sides and then for his iris I'm gonna draw part of a circle you're not gonna see it's not gonna be a complete circle like that I'm gonna do that for both eyes and then I'm gonna draw a line straight across right here like that and then a line in the middle and it's not gonna touch the sides like this and this and then a curve below this line, like that. And then I'm gonna thicken up this upper curve so it looks more like he has eyelashes there. I'm just gonna thicken that up a little bit, like that. Next, I'm going to draw his hair. <laughs> so his hair has a lot of angles in it. So I'm going to start here, come down the straight line, come across like that. And then I'm going to draw a line, an angle like this, another angle, another line like that. So it's really just a lot of lines. There's going to be hair coming down there, so I'm going to draw an angle there, angle across, up, across. Here. And he has a, a strand of hair that comes mostly in the middle. It's going to come at this big angle right there. Cross. And another angle like that. Line. Come across straight. Another line across angle and then coming up like that and then I'm gonna have another angle down and across another angle another angle line it's gonna come across come back up <laughs> another line down 
across and up. And there's gonna be a big angle like this. Come across, come across, another big angle like that. My angle here, down, across, and down, across and up. that, cross and down, down, angle, down, down, and up, angle, another angle. <laughs> so it's just all like a lot of straight lines. Some of them come across, mostly they're at different angles. And then up. I'm gonna draw in his neck right here. Please. And then in his hair, he has a lot of, there's like more lines, so I'm gonna draw those in. Left for his face is his eyebrows, and they're partly concealed by the hair that's falling on his face. Um, but we're gonna draw a line across here, and a line like this, right above his eyes, and then a line here and here. shape here at both ends. I'm going to draw a couple lines in here as well like I did with the rest of the hair. And then I'm just going to draw a line here and here. That just shows you kind of where his, that's sort of like where his eyelids would be. So now that we're done with his face, it's time to move on to his clothes. So I'm going to start with his collar here. So I'm going to come on a nice curve like this and this. And they're going to come kind of meet here like that. Do a nice little loop here and down, loop and down. And then a curve along the bottom. So this is his collar. And then this is gonna kind of mirror this shape like that. like that. And then there's a line that goes down the middle of these shapes, like that. And then I'm gonna continue down his shirt. I'm gonna leave a space here. There's, he has a sword that I'm gonna draw in coming across here. So I'm going to leave a space here and continue. This is the, the middle of his shirt. He has some buttons. So I'm going to draw a circle there, and then a circle here, and then part of a circle here. And I'm going to draw on this sword. So it's going to be a big line that comes at this angle. Like this. this line the best I can on this other side like that. And then just draw a curve for the top and you can draw a line across like that. 
in two lines like this. And then draw a big loop. So this is basically an oval, but you don't see the whole thing. It's not continued through there. And then I'm gonna mirror that with a line like this. And then a curve at the bottom. So this is the hilt of his sword. And his sword is tucked into his belt. So right in the middle, I'm gonna draw a rectangle that has a little bit of a curve to the edges. Draw a little rectangle right here. And then mirror the inside of this rectangle. And that's the belt. And then come across for a little bit. These lines. This is more of this more of his belt. <laughs> Two lines like this. And then continue it a little bit till about there. And then the sore is gonna come down. See this nice angle. Coming down into his belt like that. And his sword has triangles on it. In fact, he has uh, a lot of his garment has triangles on it. Um, so we're just going to start at the top. This is going to be the top of the triangle line right here. And then draw some triangles. last leg. So I'm going to start drawing the outer garment that he is on. So I'm draw a little loop and it's going to come down like this, right where this end of this belt is. And draw a line like this. Come down. I'm going to have it bend a little bit. You're gonna see a little bit of his pocket over here. So I'm gonna draw a line and then three lines across, just like that. And then I'm gonna draw a few lines just to show the folds in his fabric, just like that. And then I'm gonna come across a slight curve like this for his shoulders. Like that. And then come big angle and it's gonna have a slight curve here and again a big angle a slight curve like that and draw a line coming from this shoulder point down like this to about here and then come at this angle and do something similar here come down and then come out at an angle so you can see where his arms are going over here and we're almost done. So the only other thing we need to do, I'm gonna draw a little fold here. A little bit to show the fold in this fabric. The only other thing we need to do is add the triangles that are in his um, kimono over here. So I'm gonna draw part of a triangle here and here and over here. And then I'm gonna start drawing the triangles and I'm just kind of spacing them out the best I can. So because it's out of fold, you're not going to see the whole triangle here. So basically it's like two on the side and then one in the middle. So you do two. And then this one comes down in the middle, just like that. So we're going to start drawing a triangle here, here. So I switch off which side I am and I keep kind of going, making my way down. And that way it looks like a pattern. are coming at a slightly different angle because they're on his sleeve. Let me do that other side. Again, two, two, one down in the middle, two, two. Just try to space them out the best you can. So there you go. That's how to draw Zenitsu from the Anime Demon Slayer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Great job. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss another art lesson.